Hello, Adam here, Midpoint Library's Digital and Special Collections Archivist. Today, I will be talking about notable baseball players with ties to Middletown and the surrounding areas. We begin this video with Charlie Root, Middletown's most famous baseball son. Charles Henry Root was born on March 17, 1899 to Jacob and Mary Root in Middletown. Uh, the city directory lists Root's boyhood and young adult home as 629 Lefferson Road. At age 13, Root dropped out of school and began working, eventually making his way to Armco in 1918. While with Armco, Root played in the Armco League in both 1918 and 1919. Root is also said, has have said to have played for the semi-pro Middletown Eagles. And in this bulletin, you can see, see Root made nine men go to the bench, and Swartz struck out five. And here you can see Root has uh, claimed the first three base hit of the season, I think tri triple, and he's also led the league in um, infielding percentage. And here you can see on the bottom left down here is Root's daughter. Oops. Root's daughter, who was born while he was working for Armco. Root's baseball skills eventually um, led him out of Middletown when St. Louis Browns pitcher and scout Carl Wheel Gilman spotted him and signed Root to a professional contract. And here Root is in Los Angeles while he played for the minor league, eight, minor league Los Angeles Angels. Root played minor league ball from 1921 to 1922 and then from 1924 to 1925. His first shot at the big leagues in 1924 saw him go 0-4 with a 5.7 ERA. Um, in 1926, Root, be Root returned to the big leagues, now with the Chicago Cubs, after a trade in 1924, and would play until 1945 with the Cubs, retiring at age 42. From here, his career would blossom. He would go on to mass over 201 wins as a Cubs pitcher, most in franchise history, a record 3,191.1 innings pitched and 1,459 strikeouts. He would start 339 games for the Cubs and record 177 complete games. He would also amass 42 saves. Root pitched in four different World Series, starting two games in 1929, one game in 1932, one game in 1935, and an appearing relief in 1938. Um, the 1932 World Series game is when Babe Ruth allegedly called his shot, something Root denied. After, ret oh. After retiring, Root went into coaching, um, eventually winning the 1957 World Series with the Milwaukee Braves. In 1916, 1960, Root officially retired from all baseball activities. Root Interestingly and inexplicably, by today's standards, continued playing semi-pro baseball while pitching professionally, returning to Middletown in October of 1933, one year after the 1932 World Series, um, to pitch in Game 1 of the Indiana-Ohio League Championship game for the Armco representative team. Middletown's other most famous baseball son is Kyle Schwarber, also the Chicago Cubs. And you can see Kyle in the upper right hand corner. Uh, a native of Middletown, Schwarber attended and graduated from Middletown High School in 2011. During his time with MHS, he played both football and baseball. For the Middies baseball, he amassed 18 home runs and 103 RBI. After graduating, Schwarber attended Indiana University, playing baseball for three years. He was named a freshman All-American in 2012 and an All-American in 2013 and 14. In the 2014 MLB draft, Schwarber was drafted fourth overall by the Cubs. He spent the rest of 2014 summer and the beginning of the 2015 season in the minors before making his major league debut on June 16, 2015. In the 2014 15 postseason, Schwarber set a Cubs record with um, with five postseason home runs and set the record for most for the most home runs in a single postseason by a player age 22 or younger. 2016 would see Schwarber miss 
most of the regular season before returning to the Join the Cubs in the World Series. Schober recorded seven hits, including one double, two RBI, and one stolen base, while batting for batting for a 4-12 batting average and maintaining a 500 on base percentage to help the Cubs defeat the Cleveland Indians and win the 2016 World Series, breaking Chicago's uh, long curse. Since the 2016 season, Schorber has continued to be a productive member, a productive member of the Cubs after a rough 2017. The next player to be highlighted, Larry Koff, is not a Middletown native, but he was a prominent major league player and made a big impact on Middletown baseball. Koff was born in Bristol, Connecticut in 1890 and played professional baseball from 1913 to 1923. From 1916 to 1921, he played shortstop for the Cincinnati Reds and was considered one of the better shortstops in baseball. He was the starting shortstop for the Reds in their 1919 World Series victory, which was later tainted by the Black Sox scandal. After exiting professional baseball, Koff made his way to Middletown, specifically the Armco representative team in 1925. From 1928 to 1930, he was player manager of the Armco representative team, leading those teams to the Kentucky-Indiana-Ohio League Championship in 1928-1929, and to a runner-up uh, position in 1930 in the Indiana-Ohio League. Now for some quick hits of some other notable but not nearly as notable players as the previous ones. First on the list is Thomas Howard. He grew up in Middletown and went to Valley View High School in Germantown. He played 11 seasons in the majors uh, and for, for, for six teams, including the Cincinnati Reds from 1993 to 1996. For his career, he hit 264 uh, with 44 home runs and drove in 264 runs. Next is Walter Aston. While not a native of Middletown, uh, uh, famous man, uh, former famous manager of the Brooklyn slash LA Dodgers from 1954 to 1976. Uh, Walt, uh, Aston was born in Venice, Ohio, but moved to Dartown as a child. Um, <clears throat> he attended Milford Township High School and, late, and lettered at Miami University. Eventually, he moved back to West Middletown, where uh, he spent the rest of his life. He was a member of the Middletown Sportsman's Club. Next is Dave Schwartzbaugh, Middletown native who played professionally from 1995 to 1997 for the Chicago Cubs. And here's uh, his, his high school baseball picture and then baseball card. Next is Sam McConnell, Middletown native who played for the Braves in 2004. Uh, next we have Dan Dobb, born in Middletown and played professionally from, 19, or from 1892 to 1897. Played with the Reds in 1892, um, interred at Hickory Flat Cemetery in Overpeck. And this news article is about him getting in trouble or raising some local ruckus. Next we have Matt Current, Middletown native and MHS grad, who was a minor league ball player from 1988 to 1992, drafted in the 22nd round of MLB draft. Then Len Connie, longtime Middletown resident and prolific volunteer. Uh, he had, was a minor league player from 1934 to 1940. Uh, first contract with, was with the Cincinnati Reds. Um, also worked at Aranka for a very long time. Next is Dennis Blair, born in Middletown but moved away at a young age. Played professionally from 1974 to 1982, mainly with the Expos and Padres. Not pictured but, um, in this but is, next is Ollie Johns, who was born in Trenton. He played four games with the Reds in 1905. He's buried in the Miltonville Cemetery, but since he only played four games, he did not make this roster. Finally, we have Monroe slash Monty Swartz, um, an Armco employee and Armco representative player who was signed by the Reds in 1920. Swartz made his only major league appearance on October 3, 1920, pitching for the Cincinnati Reds in his 6-3 loss to the St. Louis Cardinals. The game went 12 innings, and Swartz went the distance. His modest claim to fame is that among hurlers who debut, whose debut was also their last, who was also their swan song, he is the all-time leader in innings pitched. Um, so that wraps today's uh, video up. Thank you for joining me, and see you next time. <laughs>